Hello everyone and uh, thank you for joining me. Greetings. Uh, my name is Sean Vandeveen and I'm back with another astrology video for you. And uh, today I'm going to uh, feature one of the uh, rising signs, Capricorn Rising or uh, Capricorn Ascendant. Now um, this Ascendant is ruled by the uh, planet Saturn and um, these uh, individuals when it comes to um, everyday life People uh, often see them as uh, being uh, very uh, ambitious, very uh, rational, uh, very no-nonsense, very serious, very logical, and uh, they are very uh, practical and down-to-earth. Um, Capricorn Rising people uh, know what they want in life, and uh, they are very mature, and uh, they've been forced to... Uh, grow uh, quite a lot, uh, substantially, uh, mentally and emotionally uh, during uh, their uh, youth. And uh, it's no wonder that uh, later in life they uh, become such uh, mature, responsible adults. And uh, quite often they're, uh, they set their minds towards uh, goals that uh, they can achieve for uh, financial and material success in the uh, future. And um, Capricorn Rising people are uh, very meticulous when it comes to uh, financial matters and um, they uh, are sure to uh, be successful in uh, their life, uh, in uh, everyday matters and whether it's their through their profession or uh, through their family, or through uh, friends, or uh, philosophical outlook. Now, um, the way I like to uh, present cap present uh, videos featuring uh, rising signs is uh, by dissecting them, by explaining uh, each uh, of the uh, individual cusps, uh, from first house cusp, or the ascended, to the second, third, etc. That way, uh, it the viewer can gain a better illustration of what uh, the rising sign individual is like. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, with uh, the first house, or the ascendant, of course, uh, Capricorn is uh, sitting here. So, um, the first house deals with uh, the phys physical appearance, uh, the... Um, the uh, matters in which uh, the individual uh, is uh, most readily seen to uh, the outside world, how he projects himself. And uh, Capricorn uh, Rising people uh, look very uh, serious. Um, they uh, may uh, have a demeanor that uh, tells them that uh, they're not one to take uh, life uh, so lightly. Um, they may have a very uh, serious look in their eyes uh, quite often. And um, they may have uh, health issues re related to their bones. Um, Capricorn rising uh, people um, look often look uh, very mature and uh, studious. And uh, they uh, work hard to uh, ensure that they uh, gain the respect among uh, people in society uh, who they live with. And um, they're, they're seen as a very uh, mature, reliable, uh, very serious. And um, it's uh, in their early lives that um, they uh, felt uh, quite insecure, meaning that uh, they've uh, had to um, attain some sort of... Uh, emotional uh, stability and security through uh, hard work and effort, through ambition, in order for them to uh, live uh, independently and um, freely. Now, on the uh, second house cusp, this is where uh, Aquarius lies. Now, when Aquarius is on the uh, second house cusp, Capricorn rising people can ha actually have very uh, ingenious way of... Uh, saving money, of making money. Um, they may um, have uh, careers in which uh, they 
don't have uh, a steady income, meaning that they may have to uh, take more than one job to uh, make ends meet, or they may have uh, multiple ventures in order to uh, reach financial profitability. Um, with Aquarius on the uh, second house cusp, Capricorn risings uh, often have an interest in uh, technology and uh, gadgets. And um, they could uh, make uh, money uh, selling uh, these, selling through these uh, ventures. They uh, may uh, develop an interest in uh, technological uh, innovations that uh, they can um, work as uh, entrepreneurs uh, in these fields. Um, they, when it comes to uh, working uh, with groups. Uh, and uh, humanitarian uh, efforts, uh, Capricorn rising uh, individuals uh, can uh, also make uh, good money through uh, humanitarian ventures. Um, and um, yes, with the uh, Pisces sitting on the uh, third house cusp, Capricorn rising uh, individuals may have had a hard time uh, expressing their ideas uh, as they were growing up, uh, rather than um, being able to uh, communicate their uh, thoughts through words, perhaps they uh, were able to express their ideas through uh, art or through music or uh, through writing. And um, sometimes uh, their emotions uh, can uh, be very influential in uh, the way it, they express themselves. Um, they may um, use uh, this ability uh, later in life to uh, become uh, artists or uh, musicians. Uh, Capricorn rising uh, individuals can um, often invoke um, intuition. They're able to g gain uh, profound uh, insight into the uh, thoughts and uh, perceptions of other people. And uh, others are uh, astonished by this. And with uh, Aries sitting on the uh, fourth house cusp, Capricorn Risings uh, love to be uh, in charge of their uh, household. They love to be the leader. And uh, quite often their uh, domestic sphere is uh, often a battleground. Uh, it's where uh, emotions can... Uh, can uh, flare up and tensions can rise and uh, the uh, Capricorn rising individual needs to uh, stand his ground, stand up for him or herself to um, siblings and especially to um, their parents or uh, especially their, even their mother, which uh, cancer rules with cancer being the influence of the uh, fourth house. And so um, they may, Capricorn Rising individuals may uh, have uh, suffered during uh, their childhood or youth um, growing up in uh, a harsh uh, home environment that they had to learn to uh, stand up for themselves when uh, they themselves become the uh, parent. And so with um, Taurus sitting on the uh, fifth house cusp, Capricorn Rising uh, people um, love to uh, enjoy uh, matters uh, that are practical and down to earth um, when it comes to uh, pleasure seeking and fun and entertainment. Um, they may go on a shopping spree uh, just for the fun of it. They may uh, spend their hard earned uh, money on uh, quality items such as uh, lavish furniture, or a nice uh, Rolex watch, or a, a cool smartphone, um, a beautiful uh, dinette set. Uh, these uh, activities uh, can give uh, Capricorn Rising uh, people much uh, pleasure. And as well, the fifth house uh, also represents children. So Capricorn Rising uh, people love to um, spoil their uh, children uh, with uh, luxury items, uh, with uh, the uh, nicest toys, uh, the nicest clothing, um, 
and um, anything that uh, is uh, comforting and uh, soothing and provides any sort of a stability that uh, gives uh, the Capricorn rising individual much pleasure. And with Gemini sitting on the sixth house cusp, Capricorn rising uh, individuals, uh, when it comes to matters of work and uh, health, uh, co-workers, they uh, often uh, are uh, very articulate and uh, outspoken when it comes to um, helping out their co-workers um, and in the workplace. They often have uh, ingenious original ideas on uh, how to uh, improve uh, situations around the office or uh, the industrial setting. Um, they uh, often uh, make uh, good managers because of their ability to uh, communicate effectively with uh, those uh, who are subordinate to them. And um, they're, uh, often their minds are uh, preoccupied with uh, their matters of health, um, how, uh, how to uh, research uh, certain uh, medications uh, for particular ailments. And um, often they like to uh, ask questions uh, about uh, policies and procedures uh, at work. Um, they like to uh, follow the uh, latest trends on uh, what's going on uh, at work and matters of that sort. Now with Cancer sitting on the seventh house cusp, Capricorn rising people uh, uh, prefer partners who are very sensitive and emotional. Uh, they want uh, partners who are very uh, compassionate and motherly. Um, they sometimes want, wish for uh, other people to be uh, sensitive and uh, compassionate as they are. Um, Capricorn rising uh, people can be so serious and uh, ambitious that uh, they uh, need uh, some sort of level of uh, emotional stability and security to um, pacify them. That's why they need a uh, sensitive partner uh, who will uh, understand their uh, emotional needs and understand uh, their need for uh, ambition and uh, worldly success. And with Leo sitting on the, the eighth house cusp, Capricorn rising uh, individuals uh, actually have the ability to uh, live a long time. Um, they uh, gain uh, considerable uh, self-esteem and pride on um, being able to stay on top of their health. And uh, the eighth house uh, representing death, uh, joint finances, and sexuality, and rebirth. Um, Leo, Leo uh, on the eighth house cusp uh, can provide a capital rising individuals uh, uh, the uh, emotion, the uh, level of uh, self-esteem they need in order to live a long life. Um, they uh, take pride in um, seducing their uh, partner in the bedroom, and um, they sometimes they can uh, they prefer to uh, dominate their uh, partner. Uh, sexually and uh, they have to be a uh, very uh, careful not to uh, be tyrannical in the, this respect and uh, because they gain uh, so much uh, self-esteem from uh, having uh, healthy finances and uh, having uh, insurance policies that uh, enable them to um, feel a great sense of security um, often they become uh, CEOs of uh, insurance companies. And with Virgo sitting on the ninth house cusp, Capricorn rising individuals uh, are very uh, astute and meticulous and uh, picky when it comes to uh, philosophical and uh, religious matters. Um, they uh, feel that uh, they religion 
should be um, <clears throat> should be uh, thoroughly studied and uh, analyzed, and uh, it's up to uh, them to sort of pick and choose which uh, beliefs are right and wrong. So uh, the Capricorn rising person in this sense could say, this these beliefs are incorrect, and uh, these while well, these uh, beliefs are correct and uh, whatever he uh, believes and he will uh, go with that. It's just a matter of him uh, doing uh, intensive, intensive research and uh, using discrimination uh, to uh, feel uh, what is right for him. And as well, the ninth house represents travel. So with uh, Virgo sitting on the uh, ninth house uh, cusp, Capricorn rising individuals uh, may be uh, picky as to where they want to uh, travel uh, for vacation. Uh, they may uh, choose to travel uh, to uh, certain areas just solely to do business and to, uh, to uh, work temporarily. And so, um, yes, with uh, Libra sitting on the uh, 10th house cusp, Capricorn rising individuals uh, may uh, choose uh, careers and and uh, choose uh, partners who are uh, career oriented. Um, yes, Capricorn rising individuals may choose careers uh, that uh, revolve revolve around beauty, um, the uh, the uh, social environment, um, society at large. So. Um, they uh, may have an interest of for law. Um, they may have an interest for fashion or for uh, beauty. And uh, quite often uh, they uh, have a partner uh, or it could be a, their romantic partner. But if it's not uh, like perhaps uh, an associate of theirs who um, work alongside them, uh, throughout much of their careers, which uh, brings them much uh, financial success. And uh, with Libra being uh, the uh, sign of justice and fair play, uh, Capricorn rising uh, individuals, when it comes to uh, um, their reputation at large, they will want to ensure that uh, they maintain a uh, strong uh, reputation, a good reputation, a solid reputation, one that does not uh, bring them uh, any uh, discredit in the long run. Um, they want to uh, be seen as uh, a harmonious uh, benefactor to uh, the community at large. And with uh, Scorpio sitting on the 11th house cusp, Capricorn rising individuals uh, they they may be uh, too secretive for their own good. Uh, they may um, have a hard time uh, opening up to uh, group ideas, uh, suggestions from other people, or um, being associated with uh, groups within uh, the community. And um, the uh, sign of Scorpio. Uh, is one of uh, transformation and uh, rebirth. So in the sense, Capricorn rising individuals need to uh, learn not to be so, um, so uh, distrustful of other people and other groups. They need to uh, open up to uh, groups a little, bit, a little bit more. And if it's the case where they uh, are involved in uh, group uh, organizations, Often they're uh, of the uh, secretive and uh, paranormal group. Uh, perhaps Capricorn rising individuals would take an interest in uh, joining uh, secret uh, cults uh, such as the Freemasons or the Illuminati. And um, with um, those uh, particular groups, they would uh, gain uh, much uh, personal knowledge from. And last but not least, uh, Sagittarius sitting on the uh, 12th house cusp. Now, Capricorn rising individuals, um, they uh, may not uh, appear to be interested in spirituality and religion. 
Uh, however, deep down, uh, secretively, because the 12th house deals with the spirituality and the uh, unconscious mind, they're very much uh, interested in these matters. Um, they uh, need to uh, learn to uh, accept uh, other uh, spiritual forms uh, of existence, uh, of a religion, of beliefs, and um, sometimes uh, they're uh, so dogmatic when it comes to um, work, to ambition, that uh, these may uh, present a, a challenge to a Capricorn rising individual. Um, they uh, need to realize that uh, life is not uh, all uh, hard work and ambition and uh, money making and uh, uh, worldly success, but uh, they need to learn to, how to um, just uh, lighten up, have fun, um, be uh, more uh, easygoing and uh, open to uh, new possibilities of truth. The uh, tarot card that uh, represents Capricorn energy is that of the devil. Uh, the devil card uh, represents uh, materialistic gain, uh, materialistic pleasure. Um, it can be through um, unscrupulous means. And uh, the lesson of the uh, devil card is to uh, learn that uh, material comfort uh, is not all uh, life that um, there are um, certain strings attached to um, achieving uh, financial abundance and uh, security and uh, prestige in uh, society. Celebrities born with uh, Capricorn rising include Gwen Stefani, Sean Connery, Bono, Jane Fonda, and uh, Richard Gere. So overall, Capricorn rising individuals are very uh, hardworking, ambitious, and uh, they will do whatever it takes to uh, succeed. They uh, want to reach the top, and often they aspire to become uh, politicians, bankers, lawyers, um, corporate executives, and this is all from. Uh, this all stems from uh, a feeling of uh, inferior inferiority from uh, their childhood. They uh, needed in a, a level of uh, emotional stabil stability and security th to the uh, point uh, where uh, they needed to feel uh, accepted through um, hard material gain. Capricorn rising individuals are ruled by the planet Saturn. Uh, which represents limitation, discipline, maturity, uh, obstacles, uh, the father figure, and uh, a strong sense of reality. So this has been my uh, take on the uh, Capricorn Rising native. I hope that you were satisfied with the uh, level of explanation presented to you. Uh, please like and uh, give me a comment. And uh, if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have uh, many... Uh, videos available uh, to everyone. Um, I have lots more material uh, coming your way, so um, stay tuned for that. And um, I do want to thank you for uh, joining me. I uh, do uh, wish you a wonderful day. Uh, God bless you and be uh, kind to one another and be safe. And uh, I'll just close by saying peace, much love and namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care.